We begin with Pyongyang's latest provocation. North Korea fired two short-range missiles off its eastern coast on Monday morning, the second such launch in well under a week. For more on this launch and its implications on inter-Korean relations, let's cross live to our correspondent Hwang seung yi at Seoul's Unification Ministry. So, seung yi what can you tell us? Good afternoon, Jinju Mark. South Korea's defense ministry remains on high alert after North Korea launched what appears to be two Scud Sea short range missiles into the East Sea at around 6.20 a.m. Korea time, which was about six hours ago. The ministry says the missiles flew about 500 kilometers, a distance which means it can hit targets in uh, South Korea and Japan. Now, the launch comes just days after the North launched four uh, short range missiles from the same location. Now, such launches of short-range missiles by Pyongyang are a common part of its regular military drills, but Seoul sees the latest string of launches as an intentional provocation in protest against the annual joint military exercises between South Korea and the U.S. And North Korea opposes such exercises, and every year the drills routinely spark tensions among the three countries. So, Sungi, could this latest launch set inter-Korean relations back a bit? There were signs of thawing ties in recent weeks. Well, among North Korea watchers, these kind of launches are considered low-degree provocation compared to last year's saber-rattling from Pyongyang, which included threats of nuclear war against Seoul and Washington. But like you said, Jinju, this comes amid relatively uh, amicable inter-Korean ties, and also just a week after the two Koreas wrapped up a successful reunion event uh, for war-separated families. It seems North Korea has either uh, taken a step back or is trying to build its ground before entering another round of negotiations with the South. Now, just last week, the regime released a video clip of South Korean missionary Kim Jong-uk, who has been detained in the North since October, but refuses to reply to Seoul's offer to discuss the issue. Now, this as the regime decided to free Australian missionary John Short, who was arrested last month. The Korean Central News Agency reported Monday that the North Korean government decided to expel Mr. Short thanks to the tolerance of its law and in consideration of its age. It said the 75-year-old Australian committed a criminal act by secretly spreading his Bible tracts around a Buddhist temple in Pyongyang. Also, the North remains tight-lipped on South Korea's offer made last week to hold working-level talks for sending aid to the regime to counter an outbreak of foot and mouth disease in pigs there. The Unification Ministry says the Koreas will meet for Red Cross talks in the coming days, as agreed by the two sides at their previous meeting. And although the exact date of the talks remain undecided, experts say the South will most likely make an offer sometime this week. Guys? Well, it looks like we're just going to have to wait and see what happens. Doesn't it, really? Yeah. Yes. Uh, well, that was our uh, Sung Yi reporting there. Thanks very much. That was our Huang Sung Yi reporting from the Unification Ministry in Seoul on the latest developments there out of North Korea.